Hello and welcome to Starcom Nexus. This is a open galaxy or open star system RPG of sorts and it is all about exploring the galaxy and uh, various systems and trying to build your own ship and adventuring and doing all kinds of wonderful things. And as you can see, we have been hailed by someone. Finally got command of your own ship, eh, Jams? I guess it's really more of a shuttle, but I myself started on a station tug. At least yours is technically a starship. Kite Station isn't the most glamorous posting in Starcom, but like I said, we all started somewhere. Yes, sir. What's my first mission? I think my assignment roster calls it a delivery. But sure, we can call it a mission if you like. Your mission is to deliver the cargo in your hold to Kite Station. I believe you've got a replacement water purification system, several tons of mixed mineral resources, and a few dozen crates from an archaeology, archaeological dig on Marduk Beta 2. Super interesting stuff. When you get there, see the Commodore for additional... missions. Yes, okay. Better hurry, those archaeological artifacts are almost two million years old already. Ha ha, okay. So, this is where I am. This is me. This is my little tug right here, my little uh, little boat, I guess. And we can use WSD or arrows to steer. Very nice to know. And we will now be making our way back over to where we need to go. So let's see if we can do that. Let's, uh, where do we have to go here? So we need to go down there, I assume. It looks like a small asteroid field. It would be good target practice for us. All right, well, I'll try it. Ah, look at that. Yes. Okay. Nice shooting, Commander. Uh, I did miss a whole bunch of times, so I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, yeah. But thankfully, the uh, the weapons actually do have a 360 degree swivel, or at least it, it seems like it has a 360 degree swivel. So that's pretty cool. That means I'll be able to shoot at anyone around here. That's odd. Getting some strange readings from the sensors. Could be a solar flare. Helm control seems a bit off, too. All right, well, we're making our way down. Sir, I don't mean to sound alarmed, but about 50 warning lights just lit up on my console. Also, something seems to be pulling us toward that giant glowing rift. Right, well, let's, uh, should we try and get away from that? Because from what I can tell, it's actually drawing us in and I am attempting to escape. Never mind then. Uh, am I dead? <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, hello there. Well, uh, is, is that... Oh, no, phew. I was thinking to myself, do I actually have to defend myself in that situation? Thankfully not. What the hell just happened? Part of my language, Commander. We've got damage reports coming in from all sections. Instruments are offline. Damage control teams are scrambling. Okay, well, uh, where are, where are we, actually? Okay, nav computer is back online, but it's failing to resolve our position. It doesn't recognize the stellar configuration. Either it's broken or we're a long way from home. I think it's probably that. Let's uh, let's actually make our way towards the nearest ship. I'm going to uh, enable cruise control. As you can see, we have auto thrust is now engaged. Scanners have picked up another Starcom signal. Looks like it's Kite Station. Maybe they know what happened. I've marked it on the HUD. All right, that's over here. Oh, there's actually someone attacking us. Is that someone attacking me? Oh dear. Intruder, you are in Kytic controlled space. Identify yourself immediately or be destroyed. I am Jams, a human representative of Starcom. We are an organization of peaceful exploration. One of our research outposts was just destroyed, and here you are. An unidentified ship in our territory. Explain this. Ah. Uh, we were pulled into this region by a rift in space. I think that rift also destroyed your outpost. A rift in space pulled your ship to the exact point in space occupied by our research outpost, thereby destroying it. That is incredible. Do you believe us? Probably not. A universal translator system may be having some issues with your language. Does incredible not mean not credible? <laughs> not exactly. It means amazing or fantastic. I think it is telling that your language is as deceptive as its speakers. We believe you are agents of the Saurid. Disable your weapon systems and await our incredibly peaceful response. I'm sure that they definitely mean an incredibly peaceful response. Yes, very much. Okay, so that means we have to fight these guys. Thankfully, they have a really small ship as well, so I should be 
okay. Okay, I'm doing I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right so far. Oh, kind of. Yep, there we go. Destroyed them. Okay, fantastic. Phew. I was a bit worried there for a second. Okay, so we picked up some titanium from them as well. So that's pretty nice. But uh, I kind of did not want to destroy them because we're now going to have some problems with their mothership if they do have one nearby. Oh uh, well, never mind. We have 15 people on the on the on the vessel by the looks of things as well. All right, so this is Kite Station. Let's dock. All right, so the station is in an emergency power consumption state. All personal service usage is limited to one kilowatt per day. All right, so let's speak to the commander. You must be jams. When we detected a Starcom vessel, I was hoping it was Captain Lee. No offense, but the Byzantium is a warship. Ah, uh, yeah, thank you. We had no shops docked at the station when, well, whatever that was, happened. It looks like you're the only starship we've got. The Reformia is a small ship. My crew and I are ready for anything. By the way, if you'd like to check out the game, there is a link in the description. And uh, I'd highly recommend it if you're a fan of very large uh, RP space RPGs, which is exactly what this is. All right, so the Byzantium may be a battlecruiser, but we have some crates of ancient pop pottery. I'm going to say that. That's funny. Actually, you do have one advantage over the Byzantium. When we got pulled into that rift, we took some damage. Part of your cargo was some mineral resources we need for repair. Speaking of the rift, what the hell was it? I have no idea. A lot of our data banks were completely fried by the event, but I'm pretty sure we never had any record of a rift in space that pulls ships into another galaxy. So here's our situation. Based on our initial encounters with a race called the Kaitik, we are in unfriendly territory. We're low on resources. We've lost a lot of our technical data. We're stranded in another galaxy. We've got only one starship, yours, and it's terrible. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks again. What do you need what do you need us to do? First get yourself to the shipyard. You're authorized to use any of the minerals you brought that we didn't use for repairs to make upgrades to your ship. Make sure you get a surveyor module installed because your next task is to do a survey of the planets in the system. See if there's anything that we can use or that might pose a threat. Then report back your findings. Right. Sure. Thank you very much. I'm gonna actually talk to the uh, talk to the engineer now. What can I help you with? Any tips on ship layout? I have several, he says. Hmm, okay. First, most ship systems lose effectiveness as they take damage, try to keep important modules protected. Second, some high-energy systems like turrets gain a significant bonus for each open space they neighbor due to waste heat venting. Finally, pay attention to the module limit. This is limited by the technologies we've recovered. Was there anything else? No, that's absolutely fine. Thank you very much. Okay, so I will be able to go to the shipyard now. Welcome to the shipyard. I'm Lieutenant Chang, Chief Engineer. Wow, we've actually just spoken. The ship configuration system is pretty self-explanatory. We have a lossless material recycler, so feel free to experiment with different builds. You won't lose resources. To simplify ship build-out, you can start with a blueprint. Since you're going to be doing surveys, I'd suggest the light surveyor. Yeah, so here is the ship building section. So basically what you can do is you can basically place engines... Boom, like so. You can place them wh wherever you like. You don't, ha you know, you don't have to have them. You can right-click to remove them if you so desire. You can put on plasma turrets and so on, and whatever you like. But I'm just going to use a blueprint for the moment because that's exactly what we kind of need. And there you go. So I technically could have done that. So I could have just, you know, clicked on this and then put it somewhere here, and then I could have built it. But I'm going to just go with what they suggest for the moment, and maybe we'll build a ship later, a little bit later on. All right, so I'm going to speak to her. How's your exploration going? Uh, well, that's all for now, because I haven't actually done anything yet. All right. I see three planets on our scanners that are survey candidates. Let's check them out. All right, so three planets. So wh which way am I going? Okay, let's go this way. Let's activate cruise control in second. Let's go over this way. There we go, this cruise control. Now enabled. And yeah, so by the way, you can actually do this. You can zoom all the way out. This is the edge of the galaxy, wherever you may be. Look at this. Absolutely insane. So then you can just zoom all the way back in. All right, so that is now disengaged. Let us scan the planet and survey it. There we go. Surveys in progress. The source of the anomaly signal is an overgrown abandoned research lab. 
The upper levels of the lab have been ruined by centuries of exposure to the elements, but in an underground facility the team finds what appears to be an intact AI core. The team's xenotechnician thinks he can either restart the core or cut out the memory banks and try to extract the data. Uh, I'm going to reboot the AI because I feel like that's going to be pretty fun. The technician uses the lander's computer to bootstrap the AI core. While the universal translator seems to translate what it says, it is apparently corrupted and only repeats, Eyes locked. Stop any key return. The technician is still able to extract a large amount of useful data from the cores. The team is also able to salvage some useful minerals from the equipment. Ah, very nice. So we gained research points, titanium, and chirolite. Right. Okay, fantastic. So the survey is still in progress. We're done. Survey is complete. Let us now... Uh, well, I'm actually... Uh, you know what? Let's go to this other one because we were actually really close by. So we probably should have done that first instead of making our way over here. So let's just go over in this direction. There we go. Scan it. And, okay, just one planet left. Okay, so no anomalies detected. Okay, so the one right next to the station is absolutely fine. Now let's go to the other one down here. Cruise control activate. And let us take a look at the galaxy map once again. So you can see here, basically the top of the screen is the edge. And the bottom of the screen is the other edge, the south, southern edge. And then you have here, which I think is the western edge of the galaxy. And this is the, the uh, eastern edge. So it is insanely massive absolutely insanely massive so if i zoom in a little bit you can actually see all of these various things oh hello we're actually here now all right so let's scan this we're probably going to find something here let's face it yep there we go we found something let's deploy our little survey drone the source of the anomalous readings is a small dense titanium sphere which contains a transmitter emitting short regular bursts at 1420 megahertz no other artificial objects were detected to explain the sphere's presence. How odd. Yeah, look at that. That's the sphere that they found. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's see what we have to do next. That's all of the planets. Let's head back to the station. All right, so we'll head back to the station, and then we will... Oh, I'm being shot at. How dare you? Get out of here. I have a new ship now, so my gun should do more damage, hopefully. Yeah, yeah, that's what you get. That's what you get. Come on now. Come on. I will take you all on. Thank you very much. Let's take him down. I've got some good accuracy. Oh, yeah, not too bad. Very nice. Yeah, they're coming out of nowhere, those guys. All right. Well, let's uh, zoom out a little bit again. And I think we can go... Where is Where is the... Uh, there's, the there's the thing. Okay. What is that? That's the white dwarf star. And that is the thing where we need to go and let's get cruise control oh cruise control is already on oh that's actually fantastic okay good all right well let's go back to the station and see what the commander has to say because maybe we'll be able to uh, formulate some kind of plan I've reviewed your logs from the system survey. That abandoned lab is interesting for two reasons. One, it suggests that there are other civilizations in this region besides the Kaitik. Maybe some of them are less hostile. And two, it seems like you found a treasure trove of research data. Which leads me to an update. I've got good news and bad news. The good news is that our own research lab is up and running again. And the bad news? A lot of our technical data seems to have been lost when the rift fried our systems. But Lieutenant Commander Pillman says that we can recover a lot of it using research data you discover here. So add, make lots of scientific discoveries to your to-do list. But first, head over to the research lab and see what you can do with what you found so far. Thank you. All right. So this is Lieutenant Commander Pillman, head of the research lab, but you may call me Dr. Pillman. Okay, Dr. Pilly. That's your name now. The data you have uncovered during your errands will allow me to recover some of our lost technologies and possibly discover new ones. The Commodore has decided that you, a ship's commander with no science background, should choose the direction of our research because you are in the field, as she put it. Unlike the shipyard, once we've researched a technology, those points are locked in. We can't unresearch something, so choose carefully. Personally, I'd suggest researching turbo thrusters, if nothing else. It'll let your ship get somewhere in a hurry if you need to, or get away, as the case may be. But I only have two doctorates, so you may know better. Thanks, Dr. Pilly. Thank you. 
Thanks so much. So, turbo thrust, did he say? Let's do that. <laughs> Good job. I officially promote you to research grad student. If you have questions, you can contact me from command, but I'm rather busy at the moment. And now our first officer says, Sorry to interrupt the science, sir, but Commodore Price has an update for you. When you're finished here, head to the command section. All right. Let's do it. Our long-range scanners have detected a warp nexus in this sector. It definitely wasn't here when we arrived. I don't know whether this is part of the phenomenon we encountered earlier or the result of your activities in this system. I hope it's a way back to Starcom space, but even if it leads to another sector here in Xeno, as my crew is calling this region, I still want to know what's on the other side. Okay, we'll take our ship to it. If it leads to another system, take a look around before reporting back. Hopefully you'll find some friendlies, or at least some more resources. Before heading out, make sure to do any tech research or ship upgrades you might need. Just in case. Alright, so do I have any other blueprints unlocked? I'd like a... Oh yeah, you need to have a certain amount of resources to be able to do that. I think I'm pretty happy with what we currently have here, so I, I'm pretty pretty happy with that. I don't, I don't particularly mind. Uh, shall we do anything else? Gravitational gliding? What does this actually do? Can I not see it? Ah, oh, yeah, I can see it. Okay. Increases increase to our ship's maximum speed when in deep space from, from far from celestial objects. Improve ship handling. Right. Uh you know, I'll just I'll just leave it for the moment. I'll just leave it. I think we're I think we're pretty good the way we are. Alright, looks like we've got the turbo thrust technology. Great, we can really cruise with this tech. But watch your energy levels. Hold down shift while moving forward to engage. T to lock on or off. Okay, T, on. Boom. Alright, so let's go this way. And uh, let's actually start start going. Oh, that's a lot faster. Wow, that is a huge... Oh, wow. Okay, hello. Is this the, is this the actual thing that I needed to go to? Okay, I'm going to turn this off for the moment. Oh, there we go. There we go. It's a wormhole. Uh, you know, this could have literally just killed us, you know. <laughs> ah, there we go. Fantastic. Okay, so we are in a different sector of space now. And I guess it would be a good idea to uh, take a look around. What? What is that? I don't know what that is. Is that an enemy? Looks like a Kytic frigate of some kind. Yep, it is. It is a cargo ship. Oh, I did not want to scan this right now, actually. Yeah, I can't start the survey with hostiles near, of course. I actually wanted to hail them. We do not surrender, nor do we accept yours, so we see little to discuss. We wish to make amends. The words are meaningless. Flee or be destroyed. Okay, well, let's just kill them then. Okay. Well, that was easy enough. I didn't take any damage at all. As far as I'm aware, it didn't take any damage. Alright, that's pretty good. That was just a cargo ship, so definitely not something that's going to give us any problems, but there is another enemy around here. You've got to lead the opponent. You've got to lead the opponent a little bit with where they're heading to, so you can kind of get the additional damage on them. Yes. Okay, fantastic. Okay, so we have eliminated all of the opponents. Nothing much to worry about there. And we are now going to send our survey on this planet. Let's see exactly where we are and where we need to go. So there's another wormhole right here. And what is this? Okay, so a rocky plateau with unusual density readings turns out to be a disguised and apparently abandoned military fortress. Scans detect a faint energy source coming from within. Hmm. Have the team force their way in. The hidden fortress was no longer manned, but the team's rough entrance activated a number of automated defense drones, which opened fire. The drones had apparently kept other raiders at bay. In the fortress's storerooms was a large amount of military equipment. The equipment was antiquated by our standards, but could be recycled into useful mineral resources. So we traded a life for a bunch of resources. Mm, probably not worth it. Probably not worth it, but I, th I guess it's all right. It's sad to lose crew members. Also, with fewer hands on deck, repairs will go slower. Next time we visit K Kite Station, you should ask the Commodore whether she can assign us replacements. Yeah, that would actually be kind of nice. Anyway, we've completed the survey here, and we are now going to continue on to the next planet in this area. So now we can boost all over the place, which is actually really good. So Dr. Pilly seems to have been correct in his assumption that that research was something we should definitely go for. 
that grinds my gears a bit that he was right but oh well never mind <laughs> i think that's fine all right so let's have a look anything else here so that's the blue main sequence unscanned planet okay so we'll probably go to the unscanned planet first it's kind of annoying that the kaitic are still around here to be honest but I'm, I'm happy to to fight them they are insectoids so it's kind of fun to see what kind of technology they have as well all right we are almost here and launch the scan it's, it's a it's a gas giant, so there's not going to be anything on the surface. But we are gaining some research points, so that's pretty good. Has a core of metallic hydrogen. A phenomenon long speculated about, but never actually detected. Ooh, cool. Okay. Nice. So let's go over to the star, I think it is. Is it is it actually the star? Yeah, look at this. Whoa, that's, that's bright. The otherwise normal looking high temperature star is emitting a small number of neutrinos with a highly curved path. It's almost as if the star is throwing out curveballs. Oh, that's pretty cool. And this is another wormhole, which I will not want to go into just yet. Is that an enemy? It looks like another enemy. So I'm not sure whether we'll be able to complete our scans. No surface anomalies right here. Okay, and that is metallic hydrogen. Okay, so we've basically scanned everything. Hidden fortress, so it tells you exactly where you've been and what you've done. So that's actually really nice too. So I guess we'll continue onward. Should we continue onward? I guess we should. Why not? Okay, I went a bit too fast. Oh, there we go. It's taking us somewhere else. And this is exactly what I mean. It is such an insanely massive... Whoa, what is this? It is an insanely massive area. Nothing like this structure. Something within this planet is broadcasting a powerful EM signal. We can detect no pattern, but its strength alone gives us some new data about the lower atmosphere of gas giants. Uh, we've got a lot of enemies coming in, I think. What are these guys? Uh, that's just a scout. Okay, so that's actually nothing to worry about. Okay, that's dead. Easy enough. Another scout. Whoops. I'm actually using my thrusters. Uh, turbo thrusters in combat. Yeah, it's probably not the best idea because you're... Oh, hello. We can destroy their we can destroy their missiles in midair, which is actually really really cool as well. Let's try and take them down. And each individual part seems to have a bunch of HP as well. So if you destroy individual parts, you're going to make enemies significantly weakened. Ah, look at that! We found part of a missile launcher by itself. It's not enough to start research, but maybe we, if we can find additional parts. Yeah, I will try to do that. I am actually taking some damage right now unfortunately. Don't have a lot of energy to continue firing here, so I guess I will just try and be much more sparse with my shots and try and make them count as much as possible. This is a big area. Because it seems like there's a lot of people here. Wow, that's actually another one. Okay, I've got to be careful here. Got to be careful. That is a destroyer class vessel as well. And they're actually trying to run, or kind of trying to run, I guess. There we go. Explosions, explosions, and you're down. Oh yes, you are down. All right, fantastic. Wow, that was a pretty large fight, wasn't it? That was an absolutely large fight. All right, so I think that's actually going to be it for this episode. If you would like to check out Starcom Nexus, or if you would like to see more from me, then by all means let me know in the comments. But otherwise, check it out through the link in the description. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.